Kieran United Eyes Football Fan TV, we're here at United Park. A great night for Jolly United on the 100 year anniversary with 1 0 win over Bray Wanderers. I'm here at manager Tim Clancy. Tim, thoughts on the game? Uh, listen, there wasn't a lot in it. Um, we had good spells in the game, had a few chances. Uh, Bray had a good few chances themselves and they had good spells. There was very little in the game and um, thought the second half we pushed quite a bit to try and, mm -hmm. to try and get the goal. and um, They hit us on the counter attack a few times, it looked very dangerous. Uh, I think it was both teams wanted to win it rather than we're happy to for a draw and listen we end up popping up with a last minute uh, header from a set piece that wins us the game and mm. listen it wasn't the best we've played this year but listen it's a massive three points. Mm. It was really a game of two halves especially the first half Bray had a lot of good chances um, although they did have good chances the first half I thought that you were very compact quite well when they were playing the ball at wide. I know they got in a few times, but I thought you were very organised today in terms of you were very, very compact, not a lot of space. Um, was that something you'd worked on in, in the lead-up to the game? No, listen, we work on it uh, a lot really with, with how the players play, but we, we can do better. We have a couple of lads mm. playing out of position. Um, young James Clark coming in, playing wide left. He's not really a, a winger. He's a very good uh, central midfield player. We have Stephen Meany, who's a striker, playing sort of wide right. Mm of a three up top um, so listen positional sense there's a few little things that we'd like to tweak and, and, mm -hmm. and, and improve on but listen we've had a, a hard time of it the last couple of months with injuries um, and to get through again tonight with another win is, is mm -hmm. really pleasing but uh, no nah, listen we've got a great bunch of players there really honest lads and um, we, 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 can't, we can't complain with um, what we're getting out of them and certainly won't um, be questioning their work rate. Mm. After the first half, obviously Bray had a lot of chances, did a lot of the ball as well, they were creating quite a few chances. What was it at halftime that you changed in the game? I just thought we weren't moving the ball quick enough, we had a chat in there and listen again, it's the warmest day of the year. Um, mm. The pitch is phenomenal but it's very sticky because it's been so dry. Um, just very dry, yeah. yeah just trying dry. to get it to move a little bit quicker. Um, and again, because because of the, the the makeup of our team, we're very young, but we're very fit. So mm -hmm. as games get stretched, um, we've got two fullbacks who can run all day, and mm -hmm. if they keep probing and pressing on, it uh, it gets it gets gets us up the pitch. And uh, ah, listen, we've won the game by a by a free kick lumped into the box, and mm -hmm. Luke McNally's got ahead of the keeper and won us. So it's not like that. We changed that dramatically at half time. We just have to move the ball a little bit quicker, and um, again, we finished the game strong. Mm -hmm. I'd say though, even though the way the, the goal came about, I think on the run of things over the last few weeks, over the season really, I think you kind of deserved it because the chances that you were creating were very much created from uh, carving out your carving out yourselves, playing it wide, um, and you know, uh, coming to the end of the second half, I was thinking it's going to be one of those one of those nights where we're getting so many chances we're not going to score. But um, I think really against the run, Looking back at the season now, I think he's really deserved to win the game, especially in such a tight game that was so important. Um, after this game now, you're looking ahead um, from the, after this break now. What are you hoping now to gain now uh, between now and the rest of the season? Are you going for the second for the you know the automatic promotion, or are you looking to possibly get a uh, playoff space? Ah, uh, listen. At the start of the season, we sat down and um, again, we're I know, listen. We, we talk about budgets and whatever else, but mm. realistically, we looked at the top four finish again. Um, you assess it as, as the season goes on, and you, you look, you look, and after each round of game, games, you see where you're sitting. And mm. it's so tight at the yeah, top there. It right? is. It's very tight. We'll try. We try our best to, to yeah. compete to win as many games as possible. We'll see where that puts us. Um, mm. If we get to the playoffs again, it'll be another successful season for us. Um, listen, we're not we're not going to make any statements here, but we'll try and win as many games as possible. We're now back to the first round of games again, like uh, uh, same home games, same away games. We only got 14 points out of them games um, at the start of the season and we weren't happy with that uh, return so we'll try and get we'll try and better that and we'll see how we go um, we've got 21 out of the last nine games which is, which is a great return to be honest um, so we look at it we we'll see how we go and, and listen come four or five games left if we're in a sniff we'll, we'll, we'll certainly try our best to try and finish as high as possible but um, as I keep saying we'll be looking at fifth rather than first mm -hmm. as the points difference All right, well uh, Tim will let you enjoy your result tonight and uh, thanks very much for your time no alright thank you thanks very much for that yeah. Kieran here at Irish Football Fan TV we're here at United Park after Dry United beating Bray Wanderers 1-0 here uh, I'm here with midfielder Sean Brennan after the game Sean what's your thoughts on the game I thought we'd done okay in spells um, we were probably were the better team probably overall I think there wasn't probably much in it but it's a big three points for us um, they missed a couple of chances we missed a couple of chances probably could have went either way but look we're happy to nick it mm. it was a game really kind of two halves wasn't it mm. Bray kind of had a lot of good chances in the first half and then he's going to change the second half what was it that Tim changed in the second half 
we probably just didn't get going in the first half. We, as I said, the pitch is dry. It didn't really suit us. We like to play and stuff, and um, we were probably a little bit off. Maybe the break being having that week off and stuff like that, we probably just weren't at it. But mm -hmm. in the second half, we, I thought we were much better. Yeah, yeah. He's, he seemed to play the ball very well in the second half, especially spreading it from wide areas. Um, was it something that Tim in, in particular kind of focused on for the second half? Yeah, I think um, we probably... James, obviously only young lad after coming into the team and stuff like that, he's probably staying, keeping his width a little bit more in the second half. Stephen, the same on the far side, gives Chrissy a little bit more space mm. in between the two centre halves. Yeah. Um, so we worked a little bit on that, just a half time, just a little bit of shape, nothing major. Um, but Chrissy kind of getting the ball in between the centre halves was was probably trying to turn them a little bit and stuff like that was probably probably the key, I think. You probably sensed though at the end, probably the last 50 minutes of the second half, that Bray were starting to kind of play within themselves and they were kind of almost hanging on for the, for the draw, as you could see from Gary. Gary Cronin's body language in the second half. Uh, did you feel that in the last ten minutes? Yeah, we could. We could. You kind of can sense. You can kind of smell a bit of blood. I think mm. um, towards the end. Well, probably twenty minutes to go in the game, and you can kind of see they're sitting in a little bit. Mm. Um, probably would have been happy to take the point, mm -hmm. but um, we kind of smelled a bit of blood, and we kind of mm. we, we put a lot of pressure on without creating a whole lot now. To, but little passes just didn't go our way tonight. Mm. Um, a little bit sloppy at times, but um, look, as I said, we're happy to nick the three points. Yeah. Well, look, I'll let you celebrate, especially on the occasion that it is the 100-year anniversary of the United. So, yeah, I'll let you enjoy your celebration. Thanks very much for your time. All right, thanks.